Hey yo, it's been a while. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Man, have we heard a lot about this franchise. We've been confirmed all the way out to season 4. We saw a super cool clip of a new character. We heard that Alistair's backstory is coming out. Ooh, deepest lure. We're gonna visit heaven more. I can't wait to hear more about Sir Repentious. I know Vizzy Pop confirmed that Adam isn't gonna come back, but I don't believe it for one second. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm back with another video, finishing up everyone's favorite dad. Hell's greatest dad, I hear. I originally started making Lucifer's face as just a mask. I thought cosplayers might enjoy it, and I thought it would be really cool to see cosplayers wear it. I made one for Lucifer and Alistair. The Alistair one is obviously based off of the figure I made, if you want to go check out that video. And both of them are available on my cults if you ever, you know, want to try them on. I came back in and decided I wanted to make an actual full figure out of the face that I had for Lucifer. I originally planned on making a pretty extravagant figure when it came to Lucifer. I wanted to do a figure of both Lucifer and Charlie together in their demon forms in that last battle in the last episode of the first season. In fact, I made a whole video talking about the likelihood of making a figure like that and for each individual character for Hasbin Hotel. I personally need to rewatch my own video because I forgot what I said. Um, but this double figure was pretty high on the list as like a fun fantasy figure that is completely insane to try and create. The inspiration for this particular figure has some pretty special and fun origins. I talked about this story a little bit in one of my live streams because it's a funny story and I saw it on the internet. So, you know, everything you read on the internet is totally true. Long ago, in the age when the church was a huge patron of the arts, there was a church that had just been rebuilt, and they decided they wanted a new statue for their church. So they reached out to a local sculptor, and they said, hey, we want a sculpture of Lucifer. Don't know why they wanted a figure of Lucifer, but that's part of the story. Being described as canonically one of the most beautiful angels that had ever lived, the sculptor went all out in making this Lucifer statue as biblically accurate as possible. He made a beautiful statue. Some would say the statue was a little too beautiful, and the church wasn't too happy about it. They claimed that their female patrons were a little too interested in the statue. A little distracted. So they paid another sculptor to make another Lucifer statue. This guy's brother, in fact. So this artist decided to make a Lucifer statue. Just like his brother. Only this time, he made it even sexier. So now the church just has two sexy Lucifer statues, and all I can imagine is all these churchgoers wondering where all of their money is going. Again, needless to say, I have no idea how true this story is, but the statues do exist, and so I decided to base this figure off of the second Lucifer statue, the allegedly sexier Lucifer statue. Comparing the two, I definitely think this one is sexier. But I thought it would be really funny to have the Lucifer that we all know from Hasbin Hotel pose as the super sexy Lucifer statue. And I gotta tell you, it's a little awkward trying to make this work because Lucifer from Hasbin Hotel has got some strange body proportions, especially compared to the hyper-realistic actual body proportions that you get from these hyper-realistic figures. Trying to translate, like, this buff realistic figure into the skinny twink that is Lucifer from Hasbin Hotel uh, was a very interesting mashup, to say the least. I imagine Lucifer himself advising the church to have the statue made, because not only is the statue very flattering, the statue is also allegedly like 12 feet tall. So it's, it's definitely accurate. He's very tall, very handsome, very buff. I had to make some creative decisions when it came to combining these two figures, considering how different they are. I'm glad I didn't end up going with six wings for Lucifer because I don't want to sit here trying to make each set of wings special and unique because I absolutely would have done that. I do admit I may have made a mistake by not going with the bat wings from the original sculpture. Me and Feathers kind of have a, a love-hate relationship. They're really cool, but they're super annoying to model. <laughs> I'm happy that I went with regular old toe beans for his feet too because it's just kind of difficult to imagine the goat feet that all the fans have accepted as canon. 
I did not expect to like this figure so much, but it's really fun. It's interesting and it's funny and it has like a little story that goes with it. And it was, you know, it was kind of difficult to put together, but it actually came out pretty dope. It's probably going to look exactly as you see it on screen when I print it and paint it. I'll probably give it like a marble finish and then give it like a little bit of color to his face. And I think that would be perfect. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Make sure to come back and check out the finished print and all my future models. If you're interested in any of my models, please check out my Colts 3D. And I'll see you in a future video. Bye bye bye!